Hey everybody, my name is Tim Stoddart. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, more than ever, people are starting their own online businesses. And when we're working with these clients, we see a lot of the same mistakes kind of happening over and over again. So on today's episode, I'm gonna go over three of the most common mistakes that we see new business owners make when first starting their own online business. Okay, mistake number one overcomplicating your website design. This is one of the more expensive mistakes and one of the more like unnecessary mistakes. What happens is people get excited about their new business and they create this grandiose idea of what their website should look like and I'm telling you it's very unnecessary. Your website needs to deliver a clear message and it needs to convert your traffic into paying customers. That's really it. So to do that you want to have a lot of white space. You want to be very clear and precise about your pages. You want to have clear call to actions. What you don't want to do is overcomplicate your design and kill your conversions. All right, mistake number two, wasting money on social media advertising. Social media advertising is great. Facebook ads and Instagram ads are all very effective. But what happens is people build their website and then naturally, just because of all the buzz of social media these days, they think, all right, let's buy ads. And that's not the right time to do it. So remember, the traffic that you buy through Facebook still has to go back to your website. And if your website isn't finished and it's not designed properly to convert that traffic, then you're just gonna spend money on traffic and that traffic isn't actually gonna turn into paying customers. So you wanna build the foundation of your website first. Get all your content perfect. Get all your landing pages perfect. Social media advertising is great, but it's like third or fourth or you know sometimes 10th down the list of things to do to actually build an effective business. Don't get excited right off the gate and just start spending money on ads. You wanna be methodical about it and you wanna like be able to measure your conversions so you know that the money you're spending is growing your business. Mistake number three, not proactively selling on your website. It's uncomfortable. Selling is an uncomfortable process. You're kind of bothering people and you're asking them for their money. I don't really know anybody that feels super comfortable doing that right off the gate. But the mistake that people make is they think, okay, I have a website. I'm going to write great blog articles and I'm going to create videos and post pictures on Instagram. And eventually enough people are going to follow me that they're just going to start buying my products or buying my services. That's not the case. Selling is a very proactive process. So you can do this through writing good copy and like using persuasive language. You can do this through like real effective call to action or you can do it just through face-to-face -face selling and sort of having your website as like a digital representation of yourself. Either way, if you're thinking that you can just sit back and create things without proactively trying to sell your product or service, your business is gonna fail. And then all of that time would have just been wasted. So that's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for your attention. Please don't forget to subscribe hit the thumbs up button. It's been a couple of weeks since I got behind the camera, so it's, it feels good to be back here doing this again. If you have any questions or you wanna reach out to me, Tim at Stasi.com. I always invite you guys to email me. I'll talk to you next time. Peace.